The Port Society of the department said that with regard to the arrival of the ship, the Susuro, they implemented the guidelines established by the captaincy of the Port of San Andres through a circular of March 17, 2020, which enshrines processes such as the captain of the boat must report the maritime declaration of health on a daily basis. Likewise, the health authority addressed and it found symptoms or risk profiling will proceed according to protocol. Once the maneuver with the pilot has been completed and the ship is in the program place, the rest of the authorities will board the ship and continue with the visit, adapting all times the biosecurity measures pre-established by the health authorities. If no new information is found, the maritime authority will be authorized to talk freely with special emphasis on not allowing any crew member to disembark. This free discussion is the authorization granted by the maritime authority in coordination with other competent authorities to a ship to enter port to embark or disembark passengers and in the particular case of the motor vessel Susuro on the first arrival on the island on April 27th, the health authority boarded the ship long before it arrived at the port and it was this same authority that verified that the crew members did not present symptoms related to the disease produced by the COVID-19. Only then was the docking and service at the port authorized. In addition to the above, the crew was prohibited from disembarking following all the guidelines of the free communication. However, according to the press release on May 4th, she returned from Old Providence and on the same day, she set sail for the port of Cartagena. Subsequently, the captain of the aforementioned vessel announced his return to the port of San Andres, arguing that one of his crew members was seriously ill. As a consequence of the above, According to the Port Society, it was the Port Captain's Office that authorized the anchoring in the inner bay of San Andres and the Port Society did not intervene at all in this movement, neither in its control nor in its stay, since in such cases it escapes from its competence, being this one from the exclusive orbit of the maritime and sanitary authorities. In this sense, the Port Society was categorical in affirming that during their stay, the crew members were not allowed to disembark from the ship, much less leave the dock towards the interior of the island, nor on their return from the island of Old Providence, that at no time did any person enter the corresponding port operation. That when the incident of the sick crew member occurred, the vessel never arrived at the facilities of the departmental dock and the entire procedure for the removal of the body was carried out at the site where the vessel was anchored.